Hello? Oh! <laughs> uh, hi. I didn't know anyone else was out here. You know, you look kind of familiar. Yeah. Do you go to school out here? <laughs> well, not literally out here. I mean... Yeah, me too. That must be where I know you from. Uh, I'm Tara. Nice to meet you. Oh, just picking some berries. No, <laughs> I wish. I need these ones specifically, and they can be kind of hard to find. Yeah, but it's not too far a distance, and the weather's nice. What are you doing out here? Wait, really? You do know there's a trail about a mile that way, right? It would probably be a lot more comfortable of a hike. I mean, unless you enjoy all of the barbs and branches lapping your legs as you walk. <laughs> Well then, it's a good thing you found me. Yeah, I can show you the way back. I was pretty much done anyway. <sighs> if Dad's not happy with these, he can go pick some more himself. <laughs> Follow me. You haven't been lost out here for too long, have you? Good. But you probably shouldn't wander off the trail if you don't know where you're going. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying. Don't you think it's a little dangerous? The woods are deeper than you think. You wouldn't either if you spent as much time in the forest as I have. Let's just say... I'm more at home out here than anywhere else. No offense, but you don't seem like you know what you're doing. Which might be fine for you in the city, but not out here. Most of the time, you aren't going to get this lucky. I won't always be here to save you, you know. Oh. Well, what are classmates for, right? I don't know. I think I'm doing all right. How about you? Ooh, yikes. Um, if you want, you can borrow my notes sometime. You have a trustworthy face. And I like to think that I'm a good judge of character. Do you think I'd be walking with you if I didn't? 
Just don't prove me wrong, okay? You have a point, though. We are pretty much strangers. The only thing you really know about me is how heroic I am. <laughs> Well then, go ahead, ask me a question. Yeah, my dad. What about him? He needs them for a recipe. I don't know. I didn't ask. It doesn't really matter anyway. I don't eat it. I just get the ingredients. Your parents never make you do chores before? <sighs> Sorry. I'm not mad at you. I just... don't want to talk about it. He's sick. You know, my dad. He can't really do a lot of stuff for himself anymore. So, he has me do it for him. <laughs> he really is lucky to have me. You're right about that. Mm-hmm. It's just the two of us. What about you? You live with your parents, or... That sounds nice. Wait. So why are you all the way out here? There must be better trails to walk nearby. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes you just need a change of scenery. Is that why you moved here? Only because I don't remember seeing you around before last winter break. Or maybe I didn't notice you until then. <sighs> but that can't be it. You're too cute not to get my attention. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. We can go back to talking about dying in the woods if you'd prefer. <laughs> well, you've been to this square before, right? The one with the big bell tower. Which means you've seen the wall. All the pictures. Just the ones who've gone missing in the last few months. If they kept them up any longer, there wouldn't be any room for new ones. Sometimes as many as one or two a week. One moment they're here and... Next one, they've just... vanished. I don't know. Maybe. To be honest, I don't really go out much. Mostly just to school or to run errands for my father. But it seems like a lot to me. At least a lot more lately. Even for a town like this. So you are new here. Uh, sorry? What I mean is... You don't know the history of this place, do you? Well, how much do you know?
I don't mean that kind of stuff. I mean... the bad stuff. It's not exactly like they're going to put it in the brochure. <laughs> I'm just saying... A lot of people have gone missing over the years. I don't know. But it's not worth risking your life out here anyway. Well, yeah. You're the only cute one in class. If you went missing, there wouldn't be any reason to show up anymore. What about it? Oh, I'm not looking for a degree. I don't really see the point. No, I actually really enjoy my classes. But I could never get a full-time job. Not with Dad like he is. It's complicated. You're not the only one who needs an escape sometimes. <laughs> you think your cabin fever is bad? Try living in an actual cabin out in the middle of nowhere. Just a few days sequestered with my father, and you'll be begging for Wednesday lectures. <laughs> now you see why picking berries can be so appealing. It's peaceful and quiet. Somewhere I can be totally alone with my thoughts. Well... Usually, I'm totally alone. <laughs> no, don't apologize. I'm actually really glad we ran into each other. Yeah, otherwise, we never would have met. I know, but <laughs> there's no way I would have said hi to you in class. Not because there's something wrong with you. I just don't usually like getting any attention, that's all. I don't know, I guess there's just something different about you. You're easy to talk to. <laughs> Good. Because I'd love to talk again sometime. I wish I could. <sighs> but we're already here. One well-traveled path. Just like I promised. Keep on the trail, and it should lead you straight back into town. <laughs> I mean it. No straying off into the woods this time. I would love to, but... I have to bring these back home before it gets too late. I told you. Cabin in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but I'll see you in class in a few days, right? Okay. Great. Um, here. Do you want to... <sighs> Thank you for the conversation. 
It was nice to have someone to talk to. Travel safe, all right? And no leaving the path. 